Okay. Hi, I'm Henry, and welcome back to my channel. And so, um, in the screen, I'm not currently displaying some of the things which we can call computer science. And yes, about computer programming. But um, today, I'm gonna show you the how to identify, like measure the wavelength and uh, identify the wavelength between the normal wave and the standing wave. So why? So firstly, why do I make videos about physics? So computer science is a conversation between math, uh, programming and maybe physics so it's not really um so it's really crucial to learn physics and math apart from uh, programming so okay, let's start the video okay so as you know the normal wave will have a wavelength starts from the uh, starts of the wave to the end of the wave like after a period so from here to here is a wavelength and we call it the, the lambda yeah so maybe from the first amplitude to the second amplitude here the wavelength is also, yeah, it's also a lambda. And now steps from to the standing wave. So I have this uh, graph demonstrated by Desmos. You can find it on the internet. So you can see that the two waves, Amos collide, are on the x coordinate of zero on the x axis, and this uh, when they collide we call this collision of the two waves is uh, the node so I'm gonna create a so we call it a node and the top the amplitude of the wave of both waves is called uh, the anti node. So, what's the difference between the stand wave, uh, of the wavelength on the stand wave, and uh, um, the wavelength on the normal wave? So, basically, if you don't really look at the, the second wave, just look at yeah, this blue wave. So. For example, it starts from here, here, almost nearly one, and it ends here. So the distance between here and here is a wavelength. So we don't really compare the two notes that's far away together because there's a note right in the middle of this. So we usually measure. The distance between these nodes so if the nodes between this and this is a wavelength then the distance between this and this is a half of a wavelength and yeah and the amplitude between two waves the first and the second waves is also uh, half of the wavelength okay so you might worry what's the distance between wave the anti node and the like, the node of the two waves so starts from here and the node here we have of the length and obviously if we take the amplitude here compared to the node here it will be a quarter 
of the lens and yeah so to compare here and here we get a quarter of the length so it's a quarter of the length so yeah so in this video I have to tell you about uh, how to identify between the, the wavelength between the normal wave and the yeah the normal the length of the normal wave and the length of the standing wave so just in short the normal wave is a uh, just only one wave but the standing wave is a combination of two different waves with the uh, same I think uh, frequency yeah frequency and the period so yeah uh, so after this video I think you should understand how to identify the wavelength between two waves in a standing wave it's really simple yeah kind of straightforward concept okay thank you for uh, watching my video I hope you really understand the, this concept of physics it's not so difficult so you can also uh, learn this concept on Khan Academy or elsewhere on the internet uh, I hope you have a great day and uh, learn and study well